I'd like to talk a little bit about El Sobrante, the project that uh, Jerry and I built. First of all, I think I have to introduce you to the cast of characters in that project. And let's start with Fritz Stadelhofer. Now one of the things that you may not know is that Fritz Stadelhofer was uh, actually a relative of Jerry's. Uh, Jerry was, uh, Jerry's uncle was Fritz's uh, brother-in-law. And when Jerry was a teenager, he used to work at Berkeley Pump Company, which was owned by Fritz Stadelhofer, Fritz's father. Fritz came back from the war. Apparently he'd been in the Navy, I believe. And when he came back, he was very heavy into drinking. And his father used to have to get Jerry to go and pick him up from the bars because he'd be causing disruption in a lot of the bars early in the day. And it was a terrible, he was a terrible disappointment to his dad. His dad was uh, very German and very organized. And he was constantly telling Fritz that he wished that his son-in-law was really his real son instead of Fritz, because Fritz was a, a drinker. So it didn't endear him to Jerry. And I feel that that's one of the problems that, that happened later on. Uh, his dislike of Jerry, because Jerry was the one who his dad used to send to pick him up out of the bars. Now, after uh, Jerry became a stockbroker, Fritz's father became one of his clients and he was a very good client. And before he died, he called his family together and suggested that they all work with Jerry because he felt that Jerry was honest and he would do a good job for them and he had made money for uh, Fred Stadelhofer. So Jerry started to work as a stockbroker with the whole family. And that included not only Fritz and Jerry's uncle, but it also included all of uh, the grandchildren. And Fritz, those were Fritz's children. Christine, and there was Eugene, and uh, there were a number of other, other children that he worked with. I also became a stockbroker along with Jerry, and I helped him in the office. And I was also involved in real estate for our own personal uh, investments. And one of the things that we did was we would buy a house together that needed work and then decorate it and fix it up, repair it, and then put it on the market again and make a profit. Now, Fritz Stadelhofer found out about what we were doing and also a number of other investors found out what we were doing and they wanted to get involved with us. They thought it was a really good money-making situation because I had a real estate license and a stockbroker's license, and I was used to decorating. I decorated a number of houses for other clients. So they got involved with us, Fritz, and a number of other investors who were regular investors in the stock, stock business. You know, in other words, they bought investments from Jerry regularly, and they had done that for years. These same investors Get involved, got involved with us on two real estate projects. The first one was a house in Blackhawk that we built. And they got involved, they put up some money, and so did we. We bought the lot, and then we built the house out, and we sold it. And they got all their money back in a very good return. And then the second project was another house, also in Blackhawk, and we did the same thing with it with the same people. Then they complained because they were getting their money back within the year and they were getting a high return and they didn't want to pay interest on it. So they said they would like to go into a project that would take longer and where they would have more of a, a long-term gain rather than a short-term gain. So that was where El Sobrante came in. And we, this project was brought to us by a number, a couple of real estate agents, and it was already, it was already approved for like 27 lots. It was 11 acres, and we had all of the uh, the parcels were all drawn up. The engineering had been done, 
And so what we needed to do was to actually take it to the investors and see if they'd be interested in getting involved with us in this because it was too big for us to do alone. The lawyer who put the two projects together was Mark Erickson of Youngman and Erickson out of Walnut Creek. Now the other thing that he did when he put the investments together, the first two investments for Blackhawk together, is he also invested in it himself. And I asked him about this because I said I felt it was a conflict of interest. Him being the lawyer of record and then also investing it. He said it wasn't as long as we agreed to it. Now when we got involved in uh, the El Bronte project, he put together the limited partnership for us. And we said to him that we were quite concerned that it be done absolutely the correct way because it was such a big project. So we asked him if he would contact the NASD, which is the National Association of Security Dealers, to make sure we were allowed to do this project. He did, and he said he, he told us that he got back a letter stating that it was quite all right for us to get involved in this project. Now, one of the things that he did, which I feel is, was really quite illegal, is he invested his father in the project, telling us that his father was a California resident. A few years later, I found out that his father didn't live in California at all. He was totally in a, diff a different state so he should never have been in that project. And Mark also was invested in the project, the Elsa Bronte project. 